Hey guys, I'm here with another video uh, on Ubo Project uh, YouTube channel. Uh, this video was uh, actually inspired by two other YouTube videos that I recently watched. Uh, one of them is by Jeff Geerling, uh, where in that video he makes a uh, network attached storage or NAS with Raspberry Pi 5 using Rexa, Rexa um, Penta SATA hat. And uh, the other video is by Michael Clements in, uh, uh, on um, the DVILife.com. On YouTube also, he has a very popular channel. And in his channel, he makes a 3D printed enclosure for the network attached storage that uses Raspberry Pi 5 and Rexa uh, SATA hat. Um, when I watched those videos, it kind of inspired me to build a, a, a system around uh, this network atta attached storage using UboPod components. Uh, this is a highly exploratory project and uh, I decided to record this video from the early stages of this project. This is probably going to be a multi-part video. Uh, I'll, I will try to edit things into you know, a manageable short video but it might run into several um, um, episodes. Um, so what uh, I have in mind is to build a uh, an enclosure and a system that uses uh, the Rexa Penta SATA hat, um, and um, this this is the hat. It, it has four connectors for um, solid state drives. So these are uh, SATA SSDs, and they connect like this to these connectors. So you can have four of them, and you can make RAID and. Uh, configure these uh, in different ways. I think this is, am I getting it right? Yeah, it's a bit tricky to sometimes find the direction for these. Oh, actually it goes the other way. A few moments later. Never mind. Yeah, um, so there's one of one SATA and then you can connect a second SATA drive and up to four SATA drives you can connect to this board and it provides power and data to these SATA um, SSDs and it uses a flex cable to connect to the Raspberry Pi 5 PCIe or FPC connector. Um, so what I have in mind is to build a, an extruded aluminum ex uh, uh, enclosure similar to Ubo uh, Pod Pro 4 and 5. So this is basically the current uh, enclosure and the idea is that this is going to go like the Raspberry Pi 5. I'm going to attach that to the sideboard. This is basically the current configuration with the Wopod uh, Pro 5 that has the Raspberry Pi 5. And um, basically the way this, I'm imagining this, this new build to be is that, um, so I got these, I'm going to take these out. So I'm going to place this in to just give you an idea. So this is basically the Raspberry Pi 5 connected to the sideboard and this thing is going to go above Raspberry Pi 5 and the aluminum extrusion case is going to be a long extruded case that is kind of come all the way up here so I have to design a new basically um, enclosure which is a similar profile but it's going to be longer up to here and then on the top I'm going to have the, the logic board so it's going to kind of look like a long Ubo um, kind of variant with these uh, kind of add-ons inside and uh, so here you can put four SSDs and this area is going to be kind of empty so if you imagine this is the tube, this side is gonna be empty. And I have some ideas on how to use this space. Uh, for example, I wanna do a 12 volt um, to power USB power delivery. So I'm gonna add a board here that will do the conversion from USB-C power delivery to 12 volt. And also, I'm thinking about doing uh, kind of a battery backup option. So if you lose power, your hard drive is going to still uh, 
it's gonna they're gonna keep running and one of the biggest issues with the power outage is like the damage sometimes it can um, do to um, file system and crop files so having like a UPS that will offer a um, graceful shutdown is going to be very helpful in preventing files getting cropped on the hard drives but if you have a RAID uh, configuration you're going to have more reliability on the hard drives and there's going to be a very uh, there's it's going to be less likely that the files would get cropped and if it gets cropped uh, there is going to be a recovery uh, on those files automatically so um, so this is a high level uh, idea for the project there's some challenges for example if we place um, the the top board here then it's going to make it difficult for me to connect the top logic board to the raspberry pi so i need to design a an extension flex cable that will kind of intercept the signals in between the rexa hat so this hat is basically that uh, the gpio header on the raspberry pi is only providing uh, power from the top board to the Raspberry Pi device. So the 12 volts would go here, uh, and then the, this will power the Raspberry Pi. You can actually use the power, um, USB-C power on the Raspberry Pi to power everything. You may not even need to have uh, an extra 12 volt adapter. So these like SSD drives, they draw around three watts. So if you use four of them, the uh, four of them are going to draw about 12 watts and the Raspberry Pi would uh, draw around uh, 10 watts in maximum so this 10 and 12 uh, you're going to be drawing tw uh, 22 watts which is still below the 27 watt the Raspberry Pi adapter can offer so it's still safe uh, to use um, you know the uh, the USB-C uh, power adapter on, on the Raspberry Pi, but if you use hard drives that draw more current and they're, they're more power hungry, then you might need to use the 12 volt jack to provide more power to the system. Uh, that's kind of the high level idea here. So I need to design a few things um, in this process. So I'm gonna record different videos for the design process of each of these components. The first thing that I need to design is to have an adapter board that I can connect this to the Raspberry Pi. And then that adapter board would intercept the signals on all these 40 pins. And then uh, give me a flex connector breakout so I can connect a flex cable and then bring all the signals and connect it to the top board. And also uh, um, it will kind of uh, bring up the position of the Rexa ha uh, hat. And that also addresses a problem that uh, people have been facing with this design is that this 12 volt jack is going to interfere with some of the uh, heat sink um, blades and people have been like disconnect like using uh, a plier to remove some of these uh, fins of the heatsink uh, to to accommodate room for this uh, 12 volt jack but if, if when i use this uh, extender it's going to raise uh, the height of the rexa board and it's going to address that problem automatically and it's also going to provide more uh, room for the airflow uh, so air, air can flow much easier under the board. So it's going to probably help with the cooling of the overall system. And also I'm going to have a fan in the back. So I'm going to design a panel mount uh, fan that it can blow air or like uh, extract air from the enclosure and have a good airflow within the enclosure so the air can go through the hard drives and, and overall cool down the enclosure. Um, so... The next parts uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, change the design of the extruder profile. So I'm going to design a longer extruder profile and uh, extrude the enclosure. And uh, initially, I'm going to use 3D print printing to 3D print this, uh, this new enclosure. But once I'm confident with the design, I am going to either use some of the CNC machines that I have access to. Um, and I have access to a desktop CNC machine uh, downstairs in the shop and also 
there is a big uh, uh, a larger uh, professional CNC machine which is right now kind of offline and it needs some something to get get back online and I have never used that machine so it's going to be a little bit challenging to get that up and running and if there are a few other options I can send the design to JLC CNC to get it CNC for me or I can work directly with the factory that I'm already working to build that uh, sample for me and, and uh, kind of go that route so this these are to be determined uh, I will start this project and uh, the first step is really uh, get the design um, updated and so there is going to be the design for this enclosure I'm gonna try to bring the camera all the way up so that I'm gonna still keep the camera rails on the enclosure if somebody wants to add a camera they can still do that and um, and I will add probably some extra features on this one um, the next part that I have to do some design is this adapter I was talking about so I have already done some of the that design of waiting on JLC PCB for some of the prototypes that I designed so once they arrive I'm gonna show you how how that sits and all the files for this project is open source and, and online so you can actually replicate this build and 3d print it and uh, if you basically um, would like to avoid 3d printing some of the parts feel free to leave a comment or reach out to me if you're in the US I can ship components to you to make the the build process easier um, what else um, yeah so initially I think the build the first build that I would pursue will, will not accommodate the top logic board so it's going to be my version one and then version two i'm going to make sure that i can add the top logic board uh to to the build so that um you can start using the ubo app capabilities out of the box but the first build uh, i will probably not introduce the top board and then once things are kind of stable, I'm going to add the extension, FPC extension cable to, to connect the top board uh, header pins to Raspberry Pi header pins uh, with through an FC, FPC cable. So it's kind of like decouple, decouples these two components physically. So this can sit much higher than the Raspberry Pi above the SSD. So it would be like this would go on the top, the SSDs would go below this and the Raspberry Pi would go here. Um, yeah, so this was an intro introductory video of, of this uh, new project. I'm really excited about this. If you would like to 3D print some of these uh, designs, uh, uh, I will provide links to the GitHub repository with all the STL files for 3D printing. And I really look forward to other people trying to build a similar uh, enclosure using the designs that are um, going to be explored uh, in this um, series of videos. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Please uh, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to follow me throughout this journey of building this uh, NAS uh, enclosure and the system and uh, give this video a thumbs up and comment in the video about your thoughts and if you have anything in mind that you would like to see realized in this project please do not hesitate to let me know uh, have a great day and uh, see you soon again on my channel